Well, let's bring in former House Speaker Newt Gingrich. He's also a Fox News contributor. Uh, thank you very much, for, uh, Speaker, for joining us. Uh, this is an incredibly consequential speech that the president is expected to deliver tonight. Um, he has said that he is going to attempt to unify the country. He has said that many times. How can you expect that to happen when he has spent so much time going after the MAGA base that's supporting the former president, Donald Trump? Well, I don't think he does expect that to happen. He just knows that's what he ought to say. Look, <clears throat> Biden has two huge challenges. The first is a performance challenge. Um, he'll gain a little bit if he gives a good speech with energy and can actually stand there for an hour and a half, but he will lose an enormous amount if at any point in that speech he clearly stumbles, has a cognitive problem, or in some way loses track of what he's saying. So in that sense, a personal performance component of this speech is probably the most important single factor. Second, the, whatever he says, he's in conflict with reality. Uh, it's a reality that an illegal immigrant that Biden allowed to come into this country killed a young college student at the University of Georgia. It's a reality that Venezuelans that Biden allowed to come into this country beat up New York policemen. Uh, you go down the list, the average person knows it's a reality that food is too expensive, Electricity now, we're being told we may actually be running out of this summer because the demand is higher and we're not encouraging the building of new uh, electric production systems. So when you look at people's reality, no matter how many words Biden says, he can't unlock uh, the failures that are directly affecting people. And that's why I think he has a very, very big challenge tonight. Uh, Mr. Speaker, this is just a sampling of some of the rhetoric we've heard from those on the left. Listen. MAGA Republicans are this extreme part of their party, and that is just facts. We have seen mega MAGA Republican officials who don't believe in the rule of law. What we've got is a right-wing isolationist mega cult that has overtaken the Republican Party. So many of those extremists, those mega extremists, um, take their marching orders from Donald Trump. Maybe there needs to be a formal deprogramming of the cult members. So that's just a sampling of some of the Democrats uh, that we have seen hating on MAGA. I can tell huh. you have a clear response to that while I put this Fox News poll up, Mr. Speaker, that finds the president failing to unify the country. 26% say he's mostly succeeded. Nearly 70% say he has mostly failed, Mr. Speaker. Well, two, two examples. The U.S. Supreme Court voted 9 to 0 on the Colorado case that Donald Trump was not the great threat. The Democrats were. Literally, by 9 to 0, they said efforts to knock Trump off the ballot uh, were inappropriate. So Trump turned out to be in favor of democracy and your right to have a candidate, and the Democrats turned out to be in favor of strangling that right. Second example. Um, They've had, had apparently at least 320,000 illegal immigrants flown into the U.S., not walked across the border, flown into the U.S. The secret Biden government will not tell us where they went, who they are, how, whether or not they're a drain on our resources, whether or not they're a threat to us. Well, the average American looks at that, and the left can't say enough anti-MAGA things. This is not about MAGA. This is about America. It's about the quality of life. It's about your children's education. It's about getting a job. Uh, for example, Biden is losing young people in part uh, at a remarkable rate because they go out with their college degree and they can't find work. Mm. Uh, they can't figure out how to pay for a house. So you're, you're seeing a dramatic shift. African Americans, Asian Americans, Latino Americans, the New York Times, of all places, yeah. uh, had a report last week that Trump is now carrying Latinos and the chief analyst at the New York Times wrote, the reason people are against Biden is they do not like him. Tonight, I don't think they will like him a whole lot more. Very interesting. And the uh, GOP rebuttal will come from Katie Britt uh, to the State of the Union address. I know you're writing in this Hill piece today, Mr. Speaker, that you see this as an audition for the Trump VP list. So that will be interesting to watch as well. Absolutely. All right. Mr. Speaker, great to see you. And thanks for coming on the program. Great. All right. Glad to do it. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. 
Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.